Hi, it's DM. Today I have some new products to share with you from the Becky store on AliExpress. And all the dyes that you're gonna see today were designed by Nicole Silhouette. The first set of dyes is an alphabet set. And in the set, you do get both the uppercase as well as the lowercase letters. So let me show you what they look like cut out. So for these letters, I cut them out using some gold fall paper. And you, as you can see, it's got a very beautiful font, especially the uppercase letters with the flourish details on each of the letters, I think is so pretty. And these are advertised as a steampunk alphabet set, but to me, the names given to fonts is just that. The more important thing is, can you picture these letters on your projects? So for example, these can be used for projects other than steampunk, projects and um, these are actually giving me a storybook or fairy tale type of vibe and um, so these letters the large one measures one and a quarter inches tall and then for the lowercase letters they measure three quarters of an inch tall and then let me give you an example of them on a card Well, it's not really a greeting card, but just a piece of paper that's the size of a A4 greeting card size, which happens to be a very standard or popular greeting card size, which measures four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches tall. And I did this so that you can see roughly how many letters you can place onto a card as well, um, just to show you what they look like together. And these would be really great for slimline cards as well. I think this would look really pretty on a mini album. And then on the other side, I just um, put together some more uh, letters or names uh, just to show you what they would look like. And as you can see, I really love the uppercase letters. And then some of the letters do have a very uh, dainty detail, like as you see on the L here. So that would be the alphabet set. This next die set creates a mini snow globe. So these would be your base pieces. This is a layering piece or a piece in which you can use to turn this into a shaker. And then you get a ton of decorative pieces, including this house, and it's got some beautiful details. These are decorative pieces for the house. Um, it normally be snow that you can put onto the house. This is snow for the top of the globe. You also get the candy cane with backing piece truck as well as gingerbread person with a tiny little bow and this does look like it is for Christmas because they did send me this way before Christmas but I was just too crazy busy and only getting around to it now but what I decided to do is make a Valentine's themed snow globe as I think you could use this all year round really so in the background there for the house I made it look like it's a Valentine's cottage and then for the truck, I cut that out using a red glitter paper. I also have a tree in the background there in which I cut out using some white glitter paper. And then um, there's the snow on the top. And then for the bottom of the snow globe here, I also added these heart-shaped um, bling, which I recently got off of AliExpress. I also added this um, sentiment that says hugs, and that's a recollections die. And then I also added the bow to the top there and it's got a little bling, um, a heart shaped bling in the center. So you could really use this all year round. Um, you could even put images into the snow globe. That'd be really cute as well. And I think this is um, the perfect size for embellishments. You could turn this into a keychain, a tag, ornament. It'd look really cute on a greeting card as well. And it's a really cute size. It measures two and three quarter inches by two inches. Also new is this tag set in which you get six pieces. And there's actually two styles here. So this would be one style. This is the other style. And then for each style, you do get the three different sizes. And I did cut out examples to show you. So for example, this is the first style here. And this would be the largest tag, which measures three inches by four and three quarter inches. And these are in a shabby chic or vintage style as they have this um, detail on the edges here. And it's got stitching details as well. Very beautiful. I really love the shape of these. And then here's an example of the um, medium size one. And then small. 
And then for these, I just cut them out using some Frank Garcia paper. It's the Made With Love collection. And then here's the other style. And then this one's got a doily edge at the top here, which is very pretty. And again, it's got that uh, detail around the edges. And this is the largest one, uh, medium size and small one. So these would be really great even to put, um, I think they'd be really cute to wrap ribbon and um, trims around as well. Next, we have this coffee mug mini album or planner page set. So in the set, you get this coffee mug and it is in a Valentine's theme as the handle does have a heart on it. So this is your base page with the holes. This is a layering piece. You also get this layering piece and it's got heart details in the center. Included is the spoon as well as straw. You also get this whipped cream part and then this is a decorative piece for the straw. I decided to make a mini album and I think this mug is so cute with the heart shaped handle. There's the very cute spoon which I cut out using a gold foil paper and I added the decorative detail at the top of the spoon there. I also added this satin ribbon that I made and then for the whipped cream I cut that out using some glitter cardstock. I added some clay sprinkles. For the spoon which is just hanging off the top there I cut that out um, several times uh, just to make it very sturdy. And then the, here's the beautiful heart detail in the center of the mug. So I just cut out those hearts using some glitter paper and just went back in to do an inlay. And then the mug also, well, this album cover also features this very cute um, bear. It's a nude dye that I got in. And the bear has got a scarf with some embossing details as well as very cute earmuffs. And then I have the sentiment that says hug in a mug and that's actually a KS craft die. And I did layer those uh, letters using some foam board just to make them a little more dimensional. And then on the side of the mini album here, I added, well, I use jump rings um, to keep it together. I also added some tool to the jump rings. And then I have some um, charms hanging off the side here. So I have a coffee cup as well as donut. And then I have this bobble charm with um, some glitter stars in it, which I think is um, really cute. And then for the inside of the album, I didn't really do anything but just um, decorate the pages. So let me just show you here. So I really do like all the uh, layering pieces that you get. And then I just decorated each of the pages here. For the back here, I try to give this a finished look by um, just adding another spoon that I cut out here as well as the straw. And I thought it'd be really cute to use this mini album to hold die cuts. So what I might do is just add pockets to the bottom. Another thing that you can do is if you glue the mug down on the side here as well as these parts, you could uh, tuck things into the mug as well. And um, I just um, decorated the inside like that. And then for these, um, for the back of the pages, what you would have to do is you would just have to use um, solid cardstock. That would be the easiest. But if you're using pattern paper, you would just cut the paper on the opposite side so that you could layer the back of the pages. So um, that's how my mini album turned out. And this mini album um, measures six and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. And that does include the whipped cream. This is only part of the release and I'll be back in another video with the rest of the items. But for now, I'm gonna be putting a link to everything in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.